Hi guys and welcome to the video I'm going to be doing on Vary Math for us, Normal and Heroic. So I'm going to be going through what you want to be uh, doing as a Resto Druid to try and get your HPS up on Vary. So the main thing you want to be doing is try and get your Efflorescence. I've got a quick uh, picture here of the Vary move room. What you want to be doing is placing your Efflorescence, if I quickly get a marker, and mark it as green. You want to be placing your Efflorescence between the two marks. The reason you want to be doing this is because these marks are usually a lot closer to each other and your raid will be standing about here and here and you can get your efflorescence in both of the groups at the same time so you if before people would put in their efflorescence if the raid was like this and they were that far apart you'd have to be placing your efflorescence twice every dark fissure and that's just not really you know mana really good for your mana because obviously it's 40k or 42,000 every time you put an efflorescence down so if you put it down between the raid obviously when you're running from the dark fissures which you know will spawn here where the radar you could they run through your efflorescence and especially because you're taking damage from the dark fissure from when it spawns if people are running away from it they're running into your efflorescence and obviously your HPS is going to be going up but the main thing to get your HPS on Barry is you want to be making sure that the tanks always have your hots up always have double rejuves and regrowths so that as soon as misery ends on them from their dark strike they're instantly getting healed up it might be worth to take a tree here so you can have more burst healing so that if um, obviously if, they, if people take damage and they stand in the dark fissure for long enough they're going to get misery and if a lot of people get misery you can wait and hold your tree until you see all the miseries end and you can quickly pop tree put down a fresh effervescence and try and heal as up as many people as possible so the main thing is trying to time your CDs and when you're healing people so that once misery's ended and they're 100% healing reduction has gone, they're instantly up to full, cultivation's procking on them, or if you're taking tree, pop tree when all the misery ends and healing as many people up as possible. But the main thing is you want to be making sure that the tanks are always 100% so that when the next dark strike comes in, they have to be 100% so that they don't die from it. And just making sure if people, you know, that if they're going out with their necrotic and they're coming back in, as soon as their misery's dropped when they come back in, you've got a healing touch ready for them, so you can just take the HPS, take that healing off any of the healers. So say if a DK goes out, drops his necro, then comes back in, and he's about 20% health, his misery's dropping, you literally want to time your uh, healing touch, so as soon as misery drops, instant healing touch, and he's already healed back up to full, or around about that. If he's not full, just put a rejuve on him, make sure he gets that healing. So that in the future, if he does get hit by a dark fissure, he's just instantly healed up. So it's really quick for value, it's really simple, you know. Um, just making sure that, obviously, because misery, you don't want to be wasting mana. You don't want to be regroving people who have misery, because you're just not going to get the healing out. So you want to make sure that you're rejuving as many people as possible. As soon as the mirrors use drop, that's maybe when you want to use Trank. Near the end, when you've got Rain of Fell, um, when everyone's... Well, not Rain of Fell, sorry. When... Um, you have the Fell debuff going on around the room, because obviously you'll have the Frost debuff, which slows everyone. And you'll have the green one near the end of the fight, where everyone's going to be taking more damage. And maybe on a Dark Fisher there, you can use Trank, make sure everyone's healed up. But Vary is really, really simple for Resto Druids. You just want to make sure when someone's got Misery, you aren't giving them rejuves, because obviously it's not going to get worth. But use Healing Touch as much as possible, so that as soon as someone's Misery's dropped, you can just heal them back up to full with a Healing Touch. But yeah, that's it for for very really simple I'll also show you some gameplay now of me on very math for us as resto druid and you can quickly see what I've been talking about in this video and yeah see you in the next one okay blood dust Dodge. Rowder. Tenny. Get ready for necrotic leave if you have it. Hexclaw isn't the tank we're healing. Healing and haste to make. Dodge now. Don't see our room. He's AFK. Yeah, my bad. It's fine.
Have you got all your iron first stacks up? Because you're taking a lot of damage. Yeah, I have the stacks on. What? No, not, you're not are you. Have you got all your iron fur up? Because it seems you're taking a lot Talk of damage. Again. Have you got all your iron first stacks up? Because it seems you're taking a lot of damage. Yes, I do. Okay, out. Leave. All right. Okay, come back in, come back in. Get ready to move out the dark fissure, not yet. Leave. Healers use the cooldown now. Make sure you're healing the tanks, guys. Get ready for Dark Fisher. Dark Fisher now. Okay, get ready for Necrotic any second. Long. Hit, focus seal the tanks now. Make sure they're full. Get ready to dodge this fissure. Dodge now. Use any healing cooldowns we got left. Keep everyone alive. Focus heal the tanks. Get ready to dodge the Dark Fisher. Make sure the tanks are getting healed. Dodge. Okay, get your shit, the next boss. He loves giving me AIDS, my what the fuck? Okay, so now for the next boss, unless you die to fulminating, it's 10k, because the only way you can die on this boss is if it's your own fault, unless it's fulminating and you don't get healed. But since we have.